Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I will be giving you a small introduction about RPA for Python. So starting from this video, I will be starting a new playlist around RPA for Python as well. So let's have a cool discussion around RPA for Python like what is RPA for Python and what is its feature. Let's go in deep into it. So first, what is RPA for Python? RPA for Python is an open source software which is used for implementing robotic process automation via Python script. And RPA for Python is actually built over the top of Tag UI, which is a, another open source RPA tool which is actually maintained by AI Singapore. So actually we can say in general that Tag UI is combined with Python programming languages to build RPA for Python, that I would say in small. And it is available as RPA module. If you just uh, like, you know that to use this RPA for Python, we had to install it, right, as a module. So to install it, we had to just use pip install RPA. So name of the module is RPA. If you just type pip install RPA, you will be able to install RPA for Python. And like other RPA platforms, it is able to perform web automation, desktop automation, etc. And actually I had work, I actually had done certain use cases around RPA for Python, which I had posted in my YouTube channel as well. So I will also post its link in description so that you can have a look around it. And also the advantage of actually integration of this RPA or tag UI with Python. The main advantage is like, see, Python is actually one of the most powerful programming languages which is used for many applications around data science, around machine learning, around AI and many different computational works around we are using Python. So using these Python capabilities along with the robotic process automation features of the tag UI, we can able to execute many use cases. So that is the one main uh, like advantage I feel around RPA for Python. Okay. So that's a small introduction about what is RPA for Python. Next, let's move on to Tag UI. So I already told you that RPA for Python is built over the top of Tag UI tool. Or in other words, Tag UI plus Python gives RPA for Python. So actually Tag UI is an open source software or open source RPA tool which is maintained by AI Singapore. And I would say Tag UI is one of the human friendly design language because any person with no coding knowledge can able to write Tag UI script. It is designed in such a way. And its most important feature, Tag UI is extending its support to uh, ever like we can able to write Tag UI in different human languages. Let's say it's not restricting itself to write itself in English. We can even write in, let's say, in uh, Chinese. We can even write Tag UI script in Russia. We can even write Tag UI script in many different languages. Even many Indian languages are still supporting Tag UI script. Even it's also like users are also are adding more and more language uh, capabilities to Tag UI. Since it is an open source, everyone can add their own. And also, apart from its ability to write in different human languages, it is extending its support to programming languages as well that we see in Python. That is, Tag UI extended its RPA capabilities with Python, which becomes RPA for Python. Similarly, they also extended its capabilities to C Sharp recently, so that we can also implement RPA with C Sharp coding. And also, apart from extending its support to RPA, uh, these programming languages, it is extending its support to RPA platforms as well like Robocorp, it is extending its uh, 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 tag UI capabilities. Also with Open RPA, it is being extending its support. And recently they had made a nice work around extending its support to Office product like MS Office, MS Excel, etc. Particularly for MS Word, they had done a very nice work. Like uh, they actually uh, through, like, through the Word document itself, we can able to write tag UI. I actually had done a very nice work around that. I really appreciate Tag UI team around this for making uh, that work very nice. 
so i will also show you that uh, actually if you go to the github page or of tag ui you can able to see all the updates that they had done so far and i am seeing that for couple of months tag ui had doing lot of nice updates around by integrating with lot of technologies around so now let's directly jump into the uh, github page for tag ui so this is the github page for tag ui and i will also paste its link in the video description so you can also have a look around this github page so this is a github page for tag ui and you can see all the description around tag ui and i already told you that tag ui is a open source tool even we can also contribute and you can see a small this you can see a small description around tag ui like what is tag ui and you can also able to download tag ui by just clicking on this button you can able, like you can all get all the usage guides demos samples everything here and uh, as you can i already told you that tag ui is mostly designed as human friendly like any person with no coding knowledge can able to write tag ui script that is one of the main functionality of tag ui that you can see here a sample script you can see here this script is actually used for logging into a particular web application using username and password and even apart from writing you are not only restricted to write in english i already told you that you can even write the same script in your language let's say if you want to write in chinese it is possible uh, so it has extending its uh, capabilities as well i would say and also i already told you that they also had extended its capabilities with office product particularly with microsoft word they had done a very nice work i would say you can even write uh, tag ui script in the R microsoft word so that you can even consider that you can build a rpa bot inside the word document so they had done a very nice update around it actually and also uh, you can see here about the summary of the works they had done so far around you can see a lot of things they have been doing around i would say and also the op you can see the list of open source projects which had, they had done related to tag ui we are various users and all you can see so this is a small introduction about tag ui just have to go to their github page i will post this link in my video description so you can have a cool look at around tag ui github page now let's move to rpa for python so actually i told you tag ui plus python is rpa for python so you can even through this rpa for python you can able to bring rpa in python scripts so and i already told you like how to install uh, rpa for python you can just use pip install rpa so that you can able to install rpa for python and they also had given certain use cases on how to do a web automation how to do a visual automation how to do an ocr keyboard mouse automation and all and recently they had added a telegram feature as well so that we can send messages to telegram and they had done very good works around it and also you can able to write tag this rpa for python in uh, google collab as well that's another nice feature i think if you go in the tag ui web page you can see here they had also introduced the uh, connection with integration with uh, jupyter notebook as well as google collaborate that's very good, nice feature and uh, you can see around uh, how to like uh, like you can see the certain functions that are being supported by this rpa for python which actually helps to do certain robotic process automation features like typing into clicking and all so in my upcoming videos on this rpa for python i will also demonstrate how you can do certain use cases around this rpa for python as well so that you can understand how rpa for python is capable of doing certain use cases so that's all about uh, this rpa for python as well as about tag ui so hope you got a nice idea around what is rpa for python what is tag ui and all so next i'm thinking to give you a uh, small i i'm thinking to give you a small demo on how you can install this rpa for python so already i told you you have to just use pip install rpa so let's see how we can do that so for that i think uh, let me just close this one yeah. so actually uh, in my videos actually in upcoming videos on tutorials on rpa for python i will be using this python uh, ideally 
This is a common IDLE which is uh, which can be downloaded when you are downloading Python from python.org. You can find out from there. And I am using this simple ID ID for this uh, tutorials and all. So what I will do is for installing this uh, RPA for Python module, I will just go to command prompt. Sorry. Now I had to do something else here. So let me just close this. Yeah. So first let me go to the file path of this python ideally then i will click over yeah file locations let me find the script Good. so this is my way of doing pip installation so you can you just type cd i hope you are able to see it right you can see here I just write command uh, change directory to this directory just type ok enter then I will type pip install rpa just I will click enter now you can see that this rpa for python module will get installed so this is how you can see within seconds we are able to install rpa for python module so now you can able to write uh, this tag your this uh, RPA script in Python using this RPA module that you will see in upcoming videos as well. So hope you got an idea on how you can install tag this RPA for Python as well as you got a small introduction around tag uh, this RPA for Python as well as tag UI around what is it, what it is and what are its features and all. So hope you like this video. So if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates around RPA. Thank you.